I'm here with Brandon McGavern, and we're here with uh, checking out his boat, and he's going to describe it for us here. Cool. Go for it, Brandon. Yeah, it's a 2001 Motion Marine, <clears throat> 24 foot. Uh, it's got a Mercury 175 horsepower sport jet, and uh, which is new, and also a new Mercury 9.9 .9 four stroke pro kicker. <clears throat> uh, both have really low hours and have been well maintained. So um, just open boat. It's got seven seats. Um, it's got um, on the inside here, it's got a 10 inch. Uh, HDS Lowrance and a 12 inch brand new HDS Lowrance. Uh, it's got a 13 foot rod locker on the port side gunnel. Um, comes with six seat boxes and two pedestals. The other two seat boxes aren't in here right now. So lots of storage, bow storage, uh, fish box in the bow. Uh, you mind if I climb up and yeah, go, go for back it. in? All yeah. right. It's got, uh, show this right here, it's got the hot tub right here, hot water comes out of the kicker to uh, wash your hands and stuff. Um, it's got a uh, wash down pump with two hoses, one in the stern, one in the bow. It's got uh, Lowrance uh, VHF radio, uh, fuel gauge, um, lights, a bilge pump, uh, um, wash down pump, switch, a um, bunch of cup holders, I think there's two cup holders per seat, and um, VHF antenna too for the radio. Can I pull the lid off these uh, yeah. brands? That's all right? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. I sure do appreciate you giving us a rundown. Nobody knows this boat better than you do. It's got a, so that's the 10 inch. Here's the 12. This one's a touch screen uh, or, or buttons. It's multi function. Um, also, this boat has a 50 gallon gas tank under the floor. Well, it's really, really wide. It feels like there's just a lot of room. Yeah. Seven feet wide in the bottom and max width on top of the gunnels. Um, it's like quite a bit of storage space yep. for rods. Get them all rigged up, ready to go. Yep, and uh, comes with uh, extra spare tire for the trailer too. And uh, the seats look like they're in really good condition. The seats have been just reupholstered about a year ago. Uh, at least all the butts. Uh, really comfortable seat. These are the nicest seats I've ever had. They're actually nicer than my new boat seats. So, uh, do you get many passenger uh, customers that comment about them? Uh, or? Everyone that sits in them comments on. Them. Yeah. Uh, folding armrests too in the chairs, um, in the seats. Um, little side tray here. Two cup holders per seat, so you can keep your leads or a coffee and a beer or whatever. And um, comes with all the rod holders, uh, comes with some extra oil, extra spark plugs for the motors and things. Anchor. It also has LED strip lighting under the gunnels and in the rod locker here too. Um, yeah, I pump. can't even get it all in the camera. It's bilge pump, new bilge pump, new washdown pump, new uh, both new mo newer motors, really low, low hours, uh, runs in you know tip top shape. Um, you mind opening up the box or? Yep, lots of room, easy to work on. Super easy to get to the spark plugs, change those out. Uh, fuel filter is uh, through here to get to. Uh, two batteries and oil reservoir is right here. Lots of room to get to that. Um, it's just a two stroke motor, V6. Um, really easy to work on and just wants to run.
two stroke. So um, this boat goes. Uh, this boat, uh, being a, um, a sport jet, uh, it's different than an outboard jet pump. Where you have a shoe hanging down, this boat has no shoe hanging down, so that um, this boat's made to run in shallow water. It's made to do everything on the big water or in the tributaries in shallow water. Uh, so there's nothing hanging down underneath the boat. So if you bump the sand or a gravel bar or a log in the dark or anything, uh, this boat just slides right over it. And it's made with extra heavy duty aluminum, and the whole the boat hole is made to last forever. So, um, how often do you find yourself having to change the zincs? I uh, see they're on here. Not often, and they're working, and that's what they're supposed to look like because that that means they're working right there. So, I found them. You know, used to pound them with a hammer that removes the electrolysis and uh, rub them with a wire brush. Uh, yep, tires are in good shape and bearings are new. Trailer's in great shape. Um, it's got a vinyl wrap on it. Looks like a pretty hefty trailer. It's a hefty trailer too, yeah. It pulls really good. How long is that trailer? The trailer, uh, the whole boat on the trailer is 33 feet. From the stern of the boat, yep, new winch on the front. And new uh, um, tongue jack. Registrations on there somewhere, right? Manufacturer's plate, that's what I was looking for. Right down there. Well, it looks like it's in. What's that hole for right there? That uh, is a vent for the fish box. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> Here's the two, two of them. One here in the floor, also. Oh, and wow. One right here in the side. Okay, and those just yeah. pump out, or this one here uh, is... just still flushes okay. the blood out. Uh, and then one other thing, too, in the back, that the um, transducers for the fish finder, it also has uh, the 3D down scan, which okay. is a cool Lorance feature. 3D structure scan. Yeah. 